Richard Dawkins says, restore Atheist Republic's Twitter account. So, guys, wow. this is a big deal. When I talk about our legal stuff and what we have going on behind the scenes, sometimes it takes a little while for us to talk about it publicly. And now we can talk about some of, some of the stuff we've been doing publicly. So I have recently had the honor and pleasure of working with the Richard Dawkins Foundation to address Twitter um, and uh, regarding their uh, unexplained suspension of our Twitter account. Our Twitter account was the largest atheist-centered Twitter account on the platform. And it was suspended without notice and without explanation at the beginning of April. And um, I told you guys, like, you know, we, we are doing things on the Indian side of things to address things from that perspective, but we need to have a multi-pronged approach. We also need to have American counsel and American advocates go approach the company from that side, because in America where we're based or where I'm a citizen, you know, is where we could actually have more rights available to us. Um, and I was approached by Robin Blumner, the president and CEO of the Richard Dawkins Foundation about the issues that we've been facing in India in general, as well as our issue with Twitter. And um, I had some conversations with, with her and the in-house legal counsel of the Richard Dawkins Foundation about our approaches and how we should address this. And um, they have written a legal letter that we have delivered to Twitter about the um, unreasonable and unexplained suspension of our account and asking them in specific terms to redress the situation and uh, so yeah and look the letter is very legally written by the way um yes, but also and also signed by richard dawkins and robin blumner at the end look at this this is fantastic um but we sh we have the link to this article in the description at the very very end so mm -hmm. if you want to read this, so you can this, find it on the Richard Dawkins Foundation website as well. Yeah, and this is the letter that was submitted to Twitter, and there's a lot of, I don't know, it was very, the details here. Are, I mean, we're not we're not going to have time to go through this, but it's worth their read. Like it's very very well uh, written, and it just, I it just so, um, I enjoyed it because, <laughs> first of all. Um, this is a huge opportunity for Susanna to work closer with the Richard Dawkins Foundation going forward, right? So, and also the the way that they write about Atheist Republic here is so encouraging. Like, I, it's such a morale boost for us because they talk about our, our work and how important we are. And that just coming from the Richard Dawkins Foundation, it just makes us feel, you know, because we, we put a lot of work into what we do and just the encouragement and the you know endorsement coming from such a, a reputable organization is just so encouraging to see right and honestly like i think like if we get our twitter account back that is gr good but if we don't honestly getting these things coming out of it like when we you know when we got a whole bunch of attacks from hindutva before what came out of that ended up being a lot better than what we lost right and also this tw losing this twitter account um it pushing us to working with organizations like literature docking foundation at, at the end we always notice that every time we think something disastrous has, has happened it ends up being something in general positive right so yeah so this is really good like we we we're excited to be able to be working closely with the Richard Dawkins Foundation. And I want to thank Richard Dawkins and Robin Blumner for, you know, reaching out to us and making this happen. Like, this is this is beautiful. Thank you for that. Uh, but yeah, yeah, go check this out. Maybe share this. Share this article with as many people as you can. And uh, this is important. And also, the most important thing that I haven't yet mentioned, I can't believe I haven't mentioned that, is that all of this has been a major excuse to show how secularism is being targeted in india more important exactly. than any of this okay this is an em embarrassment for 
the ruling party in India. This is like showing how more people like this is posted on the Richard Dawkins Foundation website. A lot of people fo follow what the Richard, a lot of a lot of people and a lot of important people follow the Richard. It, it puts a stamp of authority and, and legitimacy on the claim that India is becoming Indian legal system is becoming so ridiculous where depictions of Hindu goddesses has made their entire legal system go after us, like the, the Delhi High Court and even the Supreme Court and, you know, police reports and all of that. And now it's being, you know, it's being displayed here on the Richard Dawkins Foundation website in, on, on a place where people care about, you know, secularism and atheism and freedom of speech and all of that. So having that up there is a huge win for us so even though we're so tiny and this is a major party and uh, you know we have like giant legal systems going against us this these are based on our standards these are major wins like we have managed to put this on a place you know put this on record where you know making more people aware of how ridiculous um, India's legal system and India's political parties are, are becoming, right? So the more they try to silence us by taking our, our Twitter account, the more it backfires. Like, look at where, look at where mm -hmm. this is leading. And so many people, so many people, because of what happened to us, have um, have lost this illusion of like, oh, Hinduism is different from Abrahamic religions, and this is a way of life, and it's like peaceful and you know, lovey dovey. That illusion has been shattered for so many people because of the attacks on us. So by trying to silence us, they have completely done the opposite they have become the main advertisers of anti-hinduism and anti-bjp and anti this idea where india is becoming more secular india is secular right they are doing our job because we're a tiny organization we can't do this so they with their big size and their, all the resources they have they they are doing our job for us i mean look everything they do backfires but anyways, that's what I wanted to add. Yeah, I think, well, I just want to clarify something very quickly because I have kind of like a legal legalese mind. Like, we cannot with 100% certainty say that our Twitter was suspended because of what happened in India. But this letter that they wrote to us, does it wrote for us and on our behalf, does an excellent job outlining why we believe that this influenced our suspension why it's wrong, why it is against the um, agreed upon court proceedings and so forth. Like um, they did an excellent job giving the background and also delineating why, you know, we believe that this is connected, but then also the technicalities of, well, we cannot completely say that. Um, so yes, in fact, I'll just, uh, I mean, sorry, wrong computer. I'm going to post a link to this in the live chat and so people can share it more easily. Okay, while you do that, I'm going to read Forever Stormy saying we should push for Dawkins to adopt Susanna. We need an atheist dynasty. And Forever Stormy is also asking, will Elon Musk take over, help us, or hurt us? Um, well, it will help us if the takeover happens. I'm hearing some echoes. Um, I don't know. It seems like, I don't know, the takeover is, seems to be suspended for now. We don't know if that's going to go through. Yeah, but it probably might might help us. I, I mean, I, I don't know how it could hurt us, right? So we'll see. Um, yeah, and also, what are you pulling up, Sus? Oh, you're just posting the link to the article. In the yeah, article. just so people can go check it out more easily. Yeah. And also share it. Don't just, don't, don't, oh, here, Susanna highlighted it. Okay, so guys. Or you could just search on Google, Twitter, reinstate Atheist Republic, and then put Richard Dawkins. That should be the first thing that shows up. But here's the link also if you, in case you want it. But please share it. Anyways, do you want to add anything? Because there's in two other comments that I wanted to read. If um, no, that's our, you know, because I always promise our audience that we are going to give, you know, I'm going to show, I'm going to bring forth what we're doing, you know, with the support that people give us for our oh. legal situations that we're dealing with on many different angles. I have, so I have somebody at the door. Keep talking. Before. Um, this is one very big, important step that we've taken. So I'm really happy to be able to share it with you guys. Um, and also it's been an absolute pleasure and a dream to work with the team at the Richard Dawkins foundation. It's like, um, really 
really phenomenal. It was also, I think I can share this. They're, they're so kind. They, um, they wanted to know all about our case, what's happening in India. And so I gave them the breakdown and they wanted to make sure that we had competent legal counsel in India. And um, because, you know, they want to make sure that we're um, getting our money's worth and being treated well, and we have the best advocates. And so I was talking to them about it, explaining about our, our current counsel. And they even said, oh, wow, I was I was going to recommend counsel for you, lawyers for you in India. But then I was looking at your case and I realized that the people I'm going to recommend is the firm you're already working with. <laughs> So I thought that was really funny. And also, um, just wanted to let you guys know, like, yes, we're in very good hands and dealing with very good people. Um, and so it was, it was kind of a small world, funny moment. And also really like reassuring to know, um, that, you know, we're working with a really good team. Um, and I just have a lot of, a lot of gratitude. Um, yeah, it's been awesome. Oh, that was beautiful. That was good um thank you Susanna. thank you for all the hard work you're doing behind the scenes oh by the way guys if you want to support us in our continuing our legal fights because we have a lot of legal fights we do have the link in the description guys like this is going to be very costly and we're like this is a major fight that we're doing trying to defend ourselves but we have a gofundme in the description if you guys want to check it out and here's the gofundme so, so far we've raised $4,425 to cover for all the legal fees that, uh, you know, so the title of the GoFundMe is Help Us Fight Hindutva. And yeah, so we have a lot of FIRs filed against us. They're going after our social media accounts. We have, um, you know, legal cases against us, against uh, us we in have the affidavits, Delhi High Court. counter affidavits. I'm like we've running to the notary every week to get these... <laughs> legal documents yeah. notarized it's crazy <laughs> we've been even mentioned in the uh, india's supreme court the, the 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 highest court in india and now that our legal costs are going to go up because we're now going to need american lawyers not just indian lawyers and they're a lot more expensive so that's why we need your help um anyways link for that is in the description all right, I just wanted to highlight this comment because I think, are we done with that? Because I, this is what's mm -hmm. gonna. All right, so Gage and American was saying traditions are pre pressures are pre pressure from dead people. And Jack Knife was like, that's deep. <laughs> 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 hey, this is a quote from Gage and American. He all, brings it up every time we talk about traditions. It is, it is a deep quote. <laughs> so I like it. I like it. I don't know if Gage and American did he come up with that, but that is a very good quote. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.